it's Acme Briars and today I have another unboxing video for you. So I've been lucky enough to get two boxes from Briar today and I have another one coming tomorrow. So I'm going to put them all into this big unboxing and we're going to take a look at some of the models that I've been waiting for, some for a very long time. Um, so I'm so excited to just get into them. So we'll start off with the first box. I can't remember which order these boxes are in, um, in terms of which models are in which box, so it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. Look at how much paper, Ooh, loads of paper, I'm reaching for the box. And here's our first model. So, let's say I can't remember which model is in which box, so I'm hoping it'll become quite obvious in a moment. Uh, oh, okay. I think this is Spice Drop. I think you can see which one I've got, which I am very happy about if it is the one I think it is. So Spice Drop was the Christmas morning like collector club special that they do every year. It's usually a deco and it was a deco again this year. And this year was the coin mold and there were four different colours. So there was purple, red, green and blue with a coal piece which is like a really rare piece, I think there's only 12 of them. So before I open up my favourites were the blue and the green and I'm opening up and I think we got a blue which is awesome. Let's have a little look see. So I'm not normally a deco person at all so with traditional models I try not to collect them because I've only got limited space and they're not usually my thing but I really like the Croy mold and I liked the colour scheme they've done with her this kind of filigree with a bit of clear wear so I decided to go and get one I think mainly as well that they had like three international shipping and if they hadn't had that I probably wouldn't have bought her because shipping is ridiculous and would have just made her like too expensive for what she was but with free shipping I thought why not go for it so here she is oh she's so pretty I love the clear wear in her mane and tail and blue is actually my favorite color so I'm super happy to have got the blue one she's almost got like a kind of pink sheen to her as well and she has spice drop 2021 underneath Oh, she is lovely. I'm really happy with her. She's kind of got like a, like, I don't know, her markings are just more like haphazard than I kind of was expecting. She has kind of like a few, like, spots that are not perfect, but she's a deco, so I don't think you can really tell with the pattern unless you look it up really close. She's not perfect, but she's pretty close. And then I love, she's got like these clear wear, who, well, parts of her legs, her hooves are silver. So very, very happy. She was my first choice of the colours. So thank you very much, Briar. And yeah, she's just really nice. As I say, she's a bit of an impulse buy. I'd had my Christmas dinner. I'd had a few glasses of wine and this is what happened. I ended up buying her, but I'm really happy with her. Super, super nice. So then we'll open the next box, which means this must be Lafayette. So Lafayette is the 2021 Collector Club model, who was released in February. Oh, let me see if I can get into him. And I've been waiting for him a long time, obviously. Um, I was one of the people who ordered within kind of the first five minutes and ended up on back order in the whole mess up of Riot Warehouse. So at the time I wasn't too impressed. But I really wanted the model, so I just stuck with it. So much wrapping. So it's really nice to finally be opening Lafayette after all that. It's been almost a year, but I'm hoping the worth the wait is going to be worth the wait. That's what how you say it, isn't it? I think he's going to be worth the wait. Um, I've seen pictures of him, and he does look a really nice model. And he will be my first on the Hamilton board as well. So I've seen there's a few different kind of like variations of Hamilton, not Hamilton, Lafayette, 
Um, so there's a few different variations. Some are quite dark black, some are more kind of like steely grey almost. So I kind of hoping I got one of the darker ones. And I'm just hoping after all this time I'm going to like him. My room is literally just full of like dryer packaging at the minute because I'm just throwing it all on a massive pile. Ooh, he's shiny. Oh, okay, he is nice. Let me get his tail wrap off. Oh, his tail is so long. Ah! Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, it's okay. I thought he had like a massive white bit of paint on him but actually it's just come off so hopefully that was just a little bit of a surface speck oh he's super nice so mine is one of the darker ones looking at him he's so glossy i know he was coming in gloss anyway but he's just he's really nice in gloss i'd say i don't usually collect like too many glossy models because i do a lot of photography but i felt black would be really nice in gloss and I really liked his colour and I really wanted to get him as part of the collector club so I'm glad he's finally arrived safe and sound and I love his little star as well oh he's super cute and mine seems to be in really good nick with really nice dapples I say this is my first time the model it's actually a really nice mold I like kind of the action it has on it and his face is really sweet and very long tail so yeah this is Lafayette all here um after a very long wait for him but he's he is worth worth the wait I'm happy I got him even after wait even though I had to wait a little bit longer than I kind of anticipated so it's really nice to have him finally here I kind of felt like he was a myth at one point <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll go and do some close-ups of these guys to end day one of my unboxings and then Tomorrow I shall be back with, hopefully, Astrid and Snickerdoodle. Okay, so here we have my spice drop. As you can see, she's a really nice clearwear blue and you can see all the way through her. So the actual plastic is all clearwear and then she's got kind of the silver on top. She's a super nice model. She's also my first kind of like clearwear model. And I just love her colour. She just looks so nice in this blue and silver. And I think she's going to look awesome at Christmas time as well in front of the tree. So really pleased I picked her up. And as I say, she looks so nice, especially when she's kind of under lights like she is at the moment in the light box. So really, really happy with her. Next up in the light box, I put Lafayette. As you can see, I think I've got kind of more of a darker variation. I've seen some that are like really steel grey almost, whereas he is pretty black. He's got quite subtle that thing, which I'm quite happy about. He's not kind of too fish scaly um, or anything like that. And then he has got this really nice little star marking. It's quite crisp. Let's see if I can spin him around again. And then he has one white sock on this side. And I'm just really happy with him. He's a really nice model and as I said, despite all the waiting, he is 100% worth it and I can't wait to get him in some tap. For day two of unboxing more models, my next big box from Briar has arrived. So these guys actually got caught up in customs, which is the first time I've had to pay customs in about a year, so that was kind of sad. Um, it's actually taken them two months to kind of get here, um, mainly because they weren't dispatched until sort of five weeks after I ordered them which is quite a while, so they've been taking their sweet time to get here and I did have to call Briar. I think I called them about seven or eight times in the end being like, why is my model not shit? And it's been over a month, but they're here, they've turned up, so we're going to enjoy them now. These boxes are huge and I can't get in them either. So we'll be prepared for loads and loads of packing paper again. My recycling bin is going to be drowning in this stuff. Okay, so 
we'll start with the smaller box, which this should be Snickerdoodle, I would imagine. Unless Astrid is really that tiny, but I think this is more likely to be Snickerdoodle. So Snickerdoodle was the holiday play set. And the reason I got Snickerdoodle was because I really like this little pony mold. I haven't got one on the mold yet. And I've been waiting for it to come out as kind of a regular run for a little while. And two, I did quite like the accessories that came with it. Um, for Christmas photography, the little antler hat is just so adorable. So I really wanted to get them. And yeah, it's Snickerdoodle. So starting off, we've got this kind of packet of goodies, which I'll open up in a bit. Um, so a rider and all the bits and bobs. And we'll get to the pony because that's what everyone really cares about, isn't it? Go. So here she is. So I'll just get her little face to wrap off. I love this colour just from my first glance. She's really nice Palomino. She's kind of a dark Palomino. She doesn't look too orangey. She is quite pearly, which I'll show up again with a close up later on. But she is really cute. I love her little star and snip. And I do really like this mould, seeing it the first time in person. I'm sure it's going to grow on me even more and I have more chance to look at it close up. But so adorable okay so we'll get astrid out next i've been so excited for astrid i think it's really nice to have a new fjord mold i do really like fjords i do feel like i am the last person getting astrid though like I feel like Astrid has been in hand for a lot of people for quite a while, even here in the UK. I feel like I am very much the last getting Astrid, but never mind, she's here. Here we go. Now we know she's going to be a smaller model because she's a pony, but you can also tell from the size of the box compared to other Premier Pup horses. So she's got her lovely decorated box there, and then a bit about the process of creating her as usual on the back for Premier Club Horses. I don't usually keep model horse boxes, but the Premier Club Horses, I have been keeping the boxes for, just in case I ever do decide to sell any, um, because I think it's always nice that they come in the original box. Oh. Little COA there. More bubble wrap, and she's in her little Premier Club bag, which I absolutely love. These little bags, they're just so handy for taking models out, photography, or anything like that. Oh, she is cute, just her size is really cute. So happy to have her in hand oh my goodness she is so adorable i don't even know what to say she's so cute like she's probably just about a little bit bigger than the classic in terms of size and mine seems to have really nice kind of subtle dapples here on her barrel but they're not too kind of fish scaly in any face love the dorsal stripe and a cute little star she's just really cute as i say i'll give you a close-up of her in a moment i did get the matte astrid again i tend to try and get mats for photography and i'm really happy with her i think she was worth worth the wait and it's so nice that she's finally here so what i'll do is i'll set up the light box again and we'll take a close look at these guys so here we have snickerdoodle in the light box and as you can see snickerdoodle's a really nice dark palomino with kind of a pearly mane tail and four white socks and she's got this really cute star and snip marking on her face which i think really brings out kind of some personality to her so if i just spin her the other way you can kind of see her offside a little bit more she has got a little bit of overspray kind of on her tail but i think with this kind of tail detail it's quite hard to not get overspray but she's really cute i'm really happy i picked her up 
and I do really like this little Welsh pony mould. I think it's so adorable and definitely suits kind of the holiday pony playset kind of theme. So I couldn't resist putting the hats and the accessories on Snickerdoodle just to see them. And this is what the cassette kind of looks like. So she just looks so cute in that little hat. Like I do think the hat was probably about 50% of the reason I bought this set as well as the horse. And then the doll has got this really cool fire heart shirt on for her pyjamas and matching pyjama bottoms with the really nice and um, quite plushy rug that comes with her so yeah this is a really nice set i think briar have done a really good job and i really hope they kind of do more of these kind of accessory sets as i know this will be really fun to do some photography with once it hits december again so just as an added note i do really like this pyjama set i really want them to make it for adults and sell it because i really like it it's i like the plaid kind of pattern i like the fire heart shirt so briar if you want to make this pyjama set real that would be great and last but certainly not least, we've got Astrid, the second release from the Premier Club. And she's done in this really nice, like, gula. Is it gula? I feel like there's a proper name for it, but it's really nice fjord colour anyway. So it's nice to see Bri have done um, a model on, like, a realistic colour for the Brie, because they don't always do that when they do their first release. And here she is from the front with just her lovely little star marking. See if I can get the camera to focus, and that's what her head kind of looks like with some detailed eyes. Spinning her around and just refocusing. This is her from the other side, and I like that she's in a cantering pose, and um, so she can be used for kind of performance setups. And then on her back, she's got that dorsal stripe. So really nice model i think she's a really nice depiction of a fjord and i'd really like to see them do her in the traditional like fjord done color as well i think she's a really nice little mold she's really not big which i know some people complained about but i think she is realistic in size for like a smaller fjord and i thought it'd be interesting to show you her next to a few of the other pony molds so we put snickerdoodle in then you can kind of see that Snickerdoodle is just a little bit shorter, but not by much. Just spin them again. So that's them from the back. So actually from the back, she looks taller, but um, Astrid is kind of in a more stretched out pose. So I guess in terms of if they were like real horses, they would be really similar sizes. And then we do the same with the bouncer mold. Again, you can kind of appreciate she really is not a big model at all, but she is very, very cute. And it is nice to have more pony molds as well. So that's Astrid and I'm really happy with her. I think she was a great choice for a new mold. Thank you so much for joining me on this unboxing. I've really had a great time looking at all these beautiful models over the last two days feel very spoilt at the moment even though I've spoilt myself but it's been a really nice two mod days it's kind of like model horse Christmas so I'm super happy with all of these models and thank you so much for joining me in this video let me know in the comments who is your favorite of these four and I hope to see you again in another video soon bye bye <laughs>